Hi everyone, this is Manoj from Direct Electronics. In this video, I am going to explain about the current driver that is ULM2803 and its insert. This ULM2803 is basically is well suited for interfacing between low level logic circuits to high level logic circuits. These low level logic circuits may be some TDL or CMOS or, and the high level logic circuits may be some relays, printers, or stepper motors. This ULM2803 outputs and 50 volts and 500 milliamps of current. And let's look at its pin configurations. This is a rough sketch which explains some pin configurations of the ULM2803. Usually these ICs are made up of Darlington connected transistors with some snubbing or protection diodes. This is normally comes in a 18 pin DIP packages or it or, and also it's available in the SMD packages here. This is a normal DIP package. This is 18 pin package. Coming to the pin connections. The pin 9. The ground pin needs to be connected to the same ground reference that the TTL input is using. And the 10th pin is the common bus for the flight pack protection diodes. This connects to the plus V supply of the output. And the 1 to 8 is the data input pins and the 1 and the Coming to the output, the 11 to 18s are the output pins. And there is an important note that if you give the supply to the D1 input, you should take the output from the D1 output. That is, if you are supplying the input at the pin number 1, you should take the output at the exactly the opposite side, on the, that is the pin number 18. If you are, supply, if you are making use of the, uh, pin number 4 as an input, then you need to take the, exactly the opposite that is a pin number 15 as an output for the input at the pin number 4. These Darlington drivers are open collector, they can sync current, they cannot use to source the current. Hence, these drivers are acts as a ground switch for all kind of things. Let's have a small demo by making use of the same IC that is ULN2803 to drive this step. This is my ULN2803, here I have connected to drive the stepper motor. As I told, the pin number 1 to 8 is the input pins and exactly output of that is taken as an output pins. Here I am providing the input from the Arduino Uno and I have programmed it in such a way that to run the stepper motor in anti-clockwise direction. This is a unipolar stepper motor. Since, it is a, since this ULN2803 is an open collector type, we cannot use it to drive the bipolar stepper motor. Here I am making use of a unipolar stepper motor. It, it has a normally 4 output pins and 1 supply pin which has to be given 12 volts. This stepper motor data pins have connected to the ULN2803 output pins and I am providing input from the Arduino. As I told, the pin number 8, here is the notch and here are the input pins the pin number 8 is grounded and the pin number uh, 9 is connected to the supply and this is my small PCB uh, power supply breakout which is available in our tenant house which gives normal 12 volts and 5 volts output if you input the supply 12 volts adapter to it this is how it works it's motor is rotating just rotating in the anti-clockwise direction If you have any related queries or any suggestions to be given, please comment in the below blocks of the videos or mail us at the info at the Thank you.
this video, I am going to explain the motor driver that is L293D and it's working and it's inside. Usually L293D is a motor driver, comes in 16 bit packages with an output voltage of 4.5 volts to 32 volts and a current of 1 amps. This is a rough sketch which shows the pinouts for L293D. There is totally 4 input pins and 4 outputs. Pin number 2, 7, 10 and 15 are the input pins. Pin number 3, 6, 11 as well as 14 are the output pins. Pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13 are to be grounded. Pin number 1 and 9 is the enable pins. Pin number 8 and the pin number 16 are the VCC pins. Pin number 16 should be in the range from 4.5 to 7 volts. Usually it's given 5 volts. That is the supply voltage for the IC. Coming to the VCC1 that is the supply given to the pin number 8. It depends on the voltage required for the motor. If I use the 5 volt DC motor, the 5 volts should be given to the pin number 8. If I use 32 volts, the pin number 8 should be given to uh, given 32 volts. Using this L293D, we can control two motors. The enable pin 1 is for the controlling the input 1 and the input 2 and the enable 2 at the pin number 9, we can control the inputs 3 and 4. The input which is given at the pin number 2, the output is taken at the pin number 3. For the input which is given at the pin number 7, the output is taken at the pin number 6. For the input which is given at the pin number 10, the output is taken at the 11. And for the 15, the output is taken at the pin number 14. Let's have a small demo. Here I have connected a small DC motor for a voltage rating of 5 volts. This is my L293D IC. Since I am making use of only one DC motor, I have connected only that part of the IC. And I am here, I am providing 5 volts for the IC. And motor outputs are taken from the pin number 3 and the 6. 4, 5 is grounded here. And the inputs are provided from the UNO. If I give the supply, I programmed it to run the motor in clockwise direction. Here is a small demonstration. These enable pins are logic high, which I have directly given it to 5 volts. These IDs are designed to drive an inductive load such as solar lines, relays, and DC motors, as well as bipolar stepper motors. And these ICs are also used in high current and high voltage loads in positive supply applications. For any related queries or suggestions, please leave us an email at importgreatconnected.com. In this video, I am going to explain the motor driver that is L293D and it's working and it's inside. Usually L293D is a motor driver, comes in 16 bit packages with an output voltage of 4.5 volts to 32 volts and a current of 1 amps. This is a rough sketch which shows the pinouts for L293D. There is totally 4 input pins and 4 outputs. Pin number 2, 7, 10 and 15 are the input pins. Pin number 3, 6, 
11 as well as 14 are the output pins pin number 4 5 12 and 13 are to be grounded pin number 1 and 9 is a enable pins pin number 8 and pin number 16 are the vcc pins pin number 16 should be in the range from 4.5 to 7 volts usually it's given 5 volts that is the supply voltage for the ic coming to the vcc1 that is the supply given to the pin number 8 it depends on the voltage required for the motor if I use the 5 volt DC motor, the 5 volts should be given to the pin number 8. If I use 32 volts, the pin number 8 should be given to the, uh, given 32 volts. Using this L293D, we can control two motors. The enable pin 1 is for the controlling the input 1 and input 2, and the enable 2 at the pin number 9, we can control the inputs 3 and 4. The input which is given at the pin number 2, the output is taken at the pin number 3. For the input which is given at the pin number 7, the output is taken at the pin number 6. For the input which is given at the pin number 10, the output is taken at the 11. And for the 15, the output is taken at the pin number 14. Let's have a small demo. Here I have connected a small DC motor for voltage rating of 5 volts. This is my L293D IC. Since I am making use of only one DC motor, I have connected only that part of the IC. And I am here, I am providing 5 volts for the IC. And motor outputs are taken from the pin number 3 and the 6. 4, 5 is grounded here. And the inputs are provided from the UNO. If I queue the supply, I programmed it to run the motor in clockwise direction. Here is a small demonstration. These enable pins are logic high, which I have directly given it to 5 volts. These IDs are designed to drive an inductive loads such as solenoids, relays, and DC motors, as well as bipolar stepper motors. And these ICs are also used in high current and high voltage loads in positive supply applications. For any related queries or suggestions, please leave us an email at info at